Welcome to Highline BI 348 video number 34. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, BI 334, chapter two and a half, import five, and there's a start and a finish file. And you want to be sure and download the zipped files. And there's a link below our video. Now we want to go look at the files. When you download this and unzip it, there's the folder. And here we have an access, a text, and an Excel. So if I open up the access file, and access has a table, some queries, forms, and reports. And we want to import this table. And here it is, date, product, and units. Excel file, there's actually a sheet name and a defined name here. And we'll see when we import this, we'll have the option for either one. It's simply a table also. And this text file, all three of these files have same date, product, and units. And we need to import those and merge. So here we are in Excel Power Query. Now we're going to get one file at a time, bring them in as a connection, and then use the Append feature to merge them together. So from a file, from text, desktop, and then I'm going to double click this. And there it is. I'm simply going to double click. And it's a single file. It promoted the headers. It changed the data type. It looks like we have a whole number under data type. It looks like we have date. Hey, we can just close and load to. And I want to say only a connection and load. We'll collect our connection only imports in our workbook queries task pane over here. Now we go back up to Power Query from file. Now we're going to get Excel. And there it is. Same location, but here's the Tacoma sales source data. And we have a choice. Here's the sheet name. Here's the table name. I'm going to take the sheet. Either one would be fine. I'm going to look at it by clicking Edit. And again, just like our text file, it got the actual field names. It got the correct data type, including our date. We can see our steps right there. There's our name. Close and load to only a connection. So there we have our two so far. Now we want to go to Access, Power Query, From Database, From Access Database. Double click our database. There's our table. I'm going to click Edit. Now I'm going to click on the ID column and Remove. Click on the date, make sure it's a date, sure enough. Product is text, unit is decimal number. Close and load to only a connection. Now we have our access, our Excel, and our text. I can simply go back up to Power Query. And in the Combine group, I, I would think it would be merged, but it's Append. We want to add these tables one on top of the other. Append, I'm going to select the primary table. It doesn't matter which one. Select the first one, Seattle Sales Data. Click on the drop down, we'll do Tacoma. And when I click OK, it has joined the two or merged the two or taken the first one and appended the second one below it. Now I'm going to come up to Combine and now click Append Queries and get the next one. That is the F Oakland Sales. Click OK. Now I'm going to come over here and give this a good name, All Data Access text, Excel, and Enter. Now I can close and load to. And I'm going to put it as a table on the existing sheet and click Load. Now I do not know why it came without a date number format. Let's right click Edit. Click on this column right here. Oh, look at that. But no problem. Look at that. We can edit our query. I'm going to come up and say, hey, Make sure you're a date. This one should be text. It is. This one is whole number. Now I can simply click Close and Load, and it will load back down. And there we go. So in this video, we simply saw how to take from multiple sources. And if you look up here on the Power Query, there are all sorts of sources. There's a bunch, all sorts of different databases from other sources. Any set of sources you want, you can simply load them, use the Append feature, and boom, you have one proper data set. Now in our next video, we'll see how to use Power Query and get some data from the web. 
All right, we'll see you next video.